I want to give you one story that we got on Wednesday in the presence of myself and members of parliament. There is a boy who is about 36 years. He had about 70 pieces of land. Now the people surrounding him sold all their land. He was the only one in the middle. Now the animals are released on a daily basis destroying his crops. He had no option. He went to the people and said, you people, can you give me some money? And I go away because I cannot cultivate. I cannot do anything. Then they asked him, how much money are you interested in per acre? He said, can you give me 400000 per acre? They told him, no. We can only pay you 200000 per acre. And after he accepted, after coming back the third time, accepted 200000 they said, we are giving you animals, the cows. But they valued the animals at $4 million each. Equivalent of that money. Now, you, you, you do the mathematics now. If you are valuing an animal at four million, and the land is only two hundred thousand, and, and and then he sold the animals at one million because he could not keep it, they were dying, and the boy was in tears talking to us. He said, "I am giving this information to you, but I don't know if I'm going to be alive. The people might even kill me, because they are in uniform, they are with guns here. They must all go, and I give them three weeks to to leave." The, and they should not go to invade other, other, other areas of Uganda. They should go either sell the cows and get money and settle. Because they have already got free money by, by grazing. Let them sell the cows and go and do other things. As long as they are not in a fenced area, go, please. Now, if, they are, if there are people who have fenced their land, the, where, where they are, where, where they are renting, and fenced properly, not, not just... Uh, the, then those ones can, can, can wait until we discuss it, because we are going to discuss it in more detail. Like, uh, like uh, Gilbert Olanya has been saying, Bar Bararo cannot come to Achori because Achori is, uh, is, is Achori land. Bararo cannot have, have land there. Then you, you put me in problems. During the war, I found my people suffering in Anaka. I said, what are you doing here? They said, we have nowhere to go. I said, but Uganda is big. If there is war here, you go to other parts of Uganda. And they said, where, where do we go? I said, you cross the Nile and go on the other side. They, they, they listened to my advice. And crossed the Nile. And went to a place called Boyari. And the majority of the people there are Achori people. So, don't talk care now. So, what do I do now? If they say uh, other non achori cannot come to achori, then what do I do with my way? Are people? Do I say you go back or what? So, you, you need to be careful. And, or, and of course, many achori people own land in Kampara. We own, or, or, or. So, the, therefore, we need to handle the, the issue. These people are playing around, they should stop. I can see about five points. The first one is May. the de destruction of crops. This is a very serious offense. Therefore, to have people destroying people's crops is totally not acceptable. And therefore, I just want to, 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 to cross-check briefly but it's clear that if you have got capture which are in an area which is not fenced, then obviously they are liable to cause damage to people's crops. I am going to have a final meeting with, with the two opinions, the, the, the ones who, who were for the immediate eviction of the Vararo and the ones who were going to say go slowly, as the minister was saying. I will have another meeting in Entebbe and we we'll conclude. But in the meantime, we cannot wait for as far as these ones are concerned, who have got uh, cows in a non-fenced area, they must go immediately. Why should you bring cows in an area where you have no control? Therefore, I direct the division commander and the police uh, commander, the regional police commander, and also the the, 
the, the minister of, 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 of Northern, Northern Uganda to issue orders for these people to remove their cows. Anybody who has got cows in a non-fenced area, they must go. All of them. Uh, secondly, the ones who are in government lands. Like the land of, 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 of Lakang. Which, which I bought for the project. There are Swar Ranch. The, all, the, all, all the government, they must, must leave, must take their I give them three weeks to hire trucks and take them to wherever they take them. I would have confiscated the cows themselves. Let, let them take the cows and sell them and do whatever they want to do. Now, that leaves, that does not deal with the issue of ownership. Whether you, whether you, whether you bought, whether you, you rented, we shall handle that later. Because whether you, whether you bought, or you rented, you have no right to, to destroy my crops, finished. I, I would ask the, at, uh, the Minister of Justice who is here, and attorney, I have already asked them actually to draft a law criminalizing this type of nomadism. Pimari Mary Watch, the Minister Manero Lokum, Chief Matia Khan, and only the Ditlo Betima Ropiu. They must all go, and I give them three weeks to, to leave. The, and they should not go to invade other, other, other areas of Uganda. They should go either sell the cows and get money and settle. Up. Because they have already got free money by, by grazing. Let them sell the cows and go and do other things. As long as they are not in a fenced area, go, please. Now, if there are, if there are people who have fenced their land, the, where, where they are, where, where they are renting, and fenced properly, not, not just... Uh, the, then those ones can, can, can wait until we discuss it, because we are going to discuss it in more detail. That is the second issue. Ownership of land. Because you, you hear these, these people are saying the land is ours. The cultural leader is saying it is, it is for the clan. As the community of Okiri Parish, we do request you, if possible, you can help us to cancel this title. Number five, we as the community of Okiri, we have no problem with those who bought our land. We are staying together and we are cooperated without any problem with the cattle keepers. His Excellency, the issue of animal destroying crop, we have the team of LCs, the road query, and others, they can solve it local. For others, they can take law. What about if we give you 10 more years? Do you think the local people will have any land here? Because they are poor, they don't have the money. I am not saying they have grabbed the land, but they are manipulating the poor people. They have not grabbed the land, but they are manipulating the poor people. 